What are the three best books by self-help author Brene Brown? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sam. I want to make self-growth normal. People shouldn't have to look this stuff up. It should just be mainstream knowledge, shouldn't it? If you agree, please make sure to hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It helps with ranking and all this other stuff, and I really appreciate it. Because so much work goes into making these videos. Brene Brown is known for her research on topics like shame, vulnerability, and courage, and I swear that she has this rare knack for making these things so much more exciting to learn about than you would think. Again, these are topics that I wish were like taught in school, like so many others on this channel that we talk about. The way I see it, you shouldn't look up how to stand up for yourself or how to speak openly about things that really damaged your childhood. No one should have to look that up. It should just be mainstream knowledge. Wouldn't life be easier? Wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be more fulfilling? I can't help thinking that Brene Brown would agree. So I reviewed, I think, six different Brene Brown books. And some of them, I'll admit, were better than others. There are moments in some that repeat themselves in others. Some are rather touching. Some are tearjerkers. The third best book, by Brene Brown is Dare to Lead. This book is a very corporate take on what she usually talks about, which is what I, I think would separate it from what she usually talks about. The usefulness of it is only going up over time because as technology begins to play a bigger role in our lives, as she says, people, people, people are just people, people, people. The corporate world, as, as technology plays a bigger part in our lives, without question, can use more transparency, it definitely could. And plenty of Dare to Lead focuses on how that transparency can be delivered in the workplace. As a casual listener or reader of her work, starting out, it may be easier to digest other books first by her, like the other two in this video. I still gave Dare to Lead number three because it put more of an industrial spin on how her ideas can be applied. For example, Rising Strong and Gifts of, for, uh, Gifts of Imperfection can be much more personal. Something else in Dare to Lead that makes it stand out from the rest of her bibliography is halfway through it, there's this whole section about the mechanics of values and so many very successful companies like Salesforce and Apple have found ways to really focus in their culture on the mechanization and operational Operationalization of values. Big words. Big words ending in Asian. Operationalization is like an eight syllable word. Something that always really struck me about Brene Brown is her ability to make the reader or listener not feel left out. She takes these worldwide concepts like shame and vulnerability that everyone experiences, but it, they're so hard to put into words. And she makes them relatable and accessible, like criminally accessible to larger audiences. And that's so... Hard to do, I feel like. I feel like it's hard to do, but it's, uh, it might be a little easier when you're telling your own story, which she tells a lot of her own stories, and she tells them very well. The second best book by self-help author Brene Brown is Braving the Wilderness. I still don't know what braving means. Is that like cultivating? Is it like getting good at or getting used to? Being brave in the face of? Let's, let's find out. Okay, it's pretty close. It's to face or endure with courage. I don't know exactly what she means by wilderness either. The only thing I'd really change about this book is how clear she was about that. Maybe it was like that intentionally. I think by wilderness, she's talking about the unknown. What you haven't experienced and things that scare you. You know what I mean? I mean, I guess maybe you don't if it's the unknown, but that's okay. I, I don't either. <laughs> Let's brave it together, shall we? This may all sound kind of vague, but with what she's trying to do, it, it can't be easy. Since I discovered her several years ago, Brene Brown has gotten even better at conveying her messages in a less vague way. Her, I think her, her golden goose storytelling abilities are an unexpected reason for this. I gave this one number two because belonging and a feeling of belonging to something that's inextricably connected to something larger than ourselves, that's just a topic that she haven't, she hasn't covered so much like in this book. Number one, the best book by self-help author Brene Brown is The Power of Vulnerability. This one may be a little bit biased because I don't think it's actually a book. I think it's just an audio program. I think she went to Texas or something for like seven hours and she talked about vulnerability and being yourself, what works and what doesn't in a society plagued by fear, the collective fear of not being good enough, smart enough, productive, rich, handsome, beautiful, famous, or unique enough either. It also doesn't help objectively that much that I grew up with trust and commitment issues. And learning to tackle those and rumble with them, for me, 
really started with this audio program like five years ago. So in The Power of Vulnerability, you learn about opening up to others and fostering and creating an environment of understanding and empathy. Concepts that are so human and at the same time so few people today really seem to place like the highest importance on. For me, the biggest thing about this book is how she takes them and in contrast to Braving the Wilderness, where it's more about finding a belonging wherever you feel alone and dare to lead, where it's more applicable in a corporate setting. This book or audiobook is where these concepts meet relationship and social life. And once you've established both of the others, I don't know about you, but I think that's something that we're so quick to forget about. So those are the three best books by self-help author Brene Brown. Please let me know if there's anything I'm missing, if there's anything you guys would change. If you guys like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can see all the content that we're putting up. And if you could hit that notification bell to get a notification whenever we drop new videos, that would mean the world to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. You can find me everywhere and I will see you then.